So very, very good morning to you and welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles. Today we're going to be showing you this first test ride on the Royal Alloy GP300S. Absolutely amazing machine in cream. And this is a lovely scooter, this one. LED indicators to the front. It's got the full LED lights on this one. And it's got those lovely coloured grips that match the seat as well with the Royal Alloy logo emblazoned on them. ABS bike on this one as well. And just check out the suspension on this. You've got those lovely coil springs on the front, which are adjustable as well. Just coming down the side of the bike. Now, this has the standard can. You do have the option to obviously go for the Scorpion can on this one in stainless steel or in the black carbon finish. And the best bit about these with the GPs, you've got these pop out passenger pegs. So nice and easy for your rear passenger just to get a footing on this one comes with the rear seat rack on this one and you could obviously get the option for an additional front rack on these you get side bars with them and there is i believe a rear rack coming with a rear backrest that is available soon this one's got the tan covered seats on it as well so we're going to be taking this out giving it a test ride just to show you the storage on this bike so obviously you lift up the seat on this this has got the rubber pegs on it nice bit of extra cushioning to that seat and your fuel tank is located just under the rider's seat. At the front of the bike, you get a nice Royal Alloy key with this one as well. And in that front compartment, you've got plenty of room in there. So you've got your toolkit in there. You've also got a USB plug on this and loads of storage and a little pocket there to put the mobile phone as well, should you want to charge it while you're riding. Controls on this, you've got your start button to the bottom, hazard lights to the right as well. And then on the left hand controls, indicators are to the bottom on this one. Horn in the middle, main beam, dip beam, and then push down to get that pass light on this one. So we're going to take this one out, give it a little run on the road, and show you exactly what this Royal Alloy handles like. Now the other thing I do like about these is the trim finish on these. You've got a lovely bit of trim ends on these as well. So really well finished off on this bike. Absolutely beautiful from the Royal Alloy range. Just taking it off the main stand, I'm going to turn the ignition on, and then on your clocks, you've got your miles per hour to the centre. Rev counter on the top of this one, you've got your engine temperature as a liquid cooled bike, and your fuel tank is just to the left on this. Indicators either side at the bottom, you've got your ABS light, main beam, engine management, and an oil light as well. So just firing this up, and a lovely little purr from that scooter engine on this one. So we're going to take this out. Get it into traffic and just see what this can do. Now obviously being a 300cc bike, ride test is going to be just a little bit faster on this one. But across the entire Royal Alloy range they are exceptionally well built scooters. Absolutely amazing style and the quality finish on these is just absolutely unbelievable they really have gone to town on this royal alloy range and obviously the gp300 is in very very high demand at the moment so we're just going to pull this out into traffic and give it some beans and from the off it really gets up to speed that's 40 mile an hour already and we're going to bring this one up to around about 45 mile an hour for the purposes of ride testing. Obviously with the Royal Alloys, we would say still run them in, take your time with them, let the engine wear in slowly. But obviously a lot of people decide to uh, take these right up to speed. But sitting at 45 mile an hour, the stability on this is absolutely beautiful on this scooter with these small wheels. And we're just going to bring it in on that front brake and just show you how quick this thing can brake. And just bringing that in, absolutely nothing from the ABS on this. So that is coming in hard on that front brake. We'll do the same again when we come off the dual carriageway with the rear brake. Controls are very, very easy to manage with your thumbs. So you're not all fingers and thumbs like you are on other bikes or other scooters. Very, very well managed design on the controls on this one but it does get up to speed very, very quickly as you would expect from a 300cc bike. Mirrors on this are very, very low slung, but there's an excellent view of the road behind in those mirrors. I've got about an eighth of my shoulder. 
in that mirror but I've got the entire lane 2 and the central reservation in that mirror and then on the inside very very good view of the road again and then I can obviously see lots of the near side on this so the mirrors especially being that low are very very well positioned to actually get a good view of the road behind and very easy to look down and see those controls as well so very very easy display on this one very simplistic very easy to see what is going on and we've currently got six and a half miles on this but it does handle very very quickly and there is a lot of torque off of this bike as well as you would expect from the Royal Alloy and obviously if you happen to be uh, a bit of an older rider or a bit of a scooter buff and you're into your uh, retro bikes or you just love your scooters this thing is absolutely ideal as I said with most of these Royal Alloy scooters it just makes me want to put a parker on an open face helmet and just listen to 60s mod tunes absolutely love this now I'm not a big scooter lover but I do love these Royal Alloys and would I buy one? hell yes I would buy one of these I absolutely love this little Royal Alloy range that they do the 125s are absolutely superb 200s are brilliant but god the 300 it just blows your mind and obviously they've got another version called the TG which has got the bigger front mudguard and it's an individual choice if you like the small mudguard that you've got on the front of the standard GP range lovely but the TG does take you back to that 60s look of the Lambrettas and the uh, the Vespas and it is a lovely looking bike the TG and obviously the uh, the biggest seller at the moment and everybody is going for it is what they call the graphite or the grey one the grey ones are very very hard to source at the moment everybody is going for the grey ones now obviously with these a lot of our customers are actually just buying a stock bike they're not bothered about what colour it is and uh, having their panels vinyl wrapped and obviously vinyl wrapping a bike is one option you can do you can obviously take it to a custom paint shop and have your panels resprayed now this one is the full metal version being a GP it's the full metal version only difference being that the GT has the plastic side panels on this one but this being the GP is a full metal bodied scooter and with that extra weight it doesn't make any difference at all so it's just coming hard in on that back brake and I'm literally using just one finger just to pull those brakes on so the braking on this is very very responsive but just pushing it through the roundabouts and the corners on these little tyres it handles absolutely superbly it can't be faulted and obviously uh, with scooters everybody has individual preferences there's uh, obviously big forums on the scooters if you happen to uh, be into your scooter scene and especially the forum on uh, scooter labs I tend to follow the forum on that and just to see uh, what people are saying about the scooters and they are raving about this uh, new GP300 it really is an exceptional bike but absolutely loving the ride position on this this seat is so comfortable especially this big uh, king and queen seat it's got on it as we call it compared to the uh, GT which has just got the straight for all in one seat the seat on the GPs are a lot more comfortable do splay your legs a little bit more and it gives you a lot more cushioning under the rear end so just back into town and we're just going to do a little bit of urban riding and obviously if you're a scooter rider you're going to be going out to scooter meets long distance on long distance the position of your arms and your legs are very very nice very very comfortable to ride nice upright seating position you're going to end up with no back ache like you would with the other scooters or other bikes but even at slow speed it handles exceptionally well but just around town absolutely lovely I'm just going to get a few more back roads in on this and obviously Eclipse motorcycles are a Royal Alloy dealer 
and we do all the accessories as well so if you're into your your side bars your extra racks or your uh, add-on accessories like bar ends or scorpion cans we run a full set of those so we've always got bits available but there is plenty of parts available for these royal alloys but absolutely beautiful and it handles so superbly even at slow speed on these corners so I'm very very impressed with this royal alloy And even around town at slow speed, I am absolutely loving being on this. So as always, if you are interested in a Royal Alloy scooter, give the guys at Eclipse Motorcycles a call. That's 01908 643 603. We've got about five of them in at the moment, so we've got the GT and the GP125s in. We are getting another one of these GP300s. We absolutely love these bikes. So if you fancy one of these, give them a call. Or you can check them out on their website. Clips Motorcycles MK.co.uk and even over those big speed bumps. That front sprung suspension is very, very nice. It just soaks the bumps up. There's absolutely no issues about going over those big bumps which is what I always check to see what suspension feels like on these but just pulling it down on the brakes every time and I'm literally using one finger just on the left just to pull that uh, combined braking down but absolutely beautiful and <laughs> it's getting a lot of attention everybody's looking to see what it is coming down the road it's definitely an attention grabber if you uh, if you do buy one of these be prepared to have a lot of people looking at you as you're riding as always social media on eclipse and motorcycles on my uh, website revbomb.co.uk go down the bottom there's a link to the website there's a link to the facebook if you want to uh, have a facebook page and get up onto facebook type in eclipse motorcycles look for the picture of the two royal alloy scooters and that will find their page and as always, all my social media, on my social media website, on the last page, that's the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube, and the Facebook to follow RevBomb. But it has been an absolute joy being out on this bike this morning. That's the Royal Alloy GP300S. We will be doing a further ride video on this, getting a little bit more extra mileage. But we've got the first part of the mileage on at 10.2 just another 10 miles to get on this bike before we hand it to the customer and as always if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs down if you don't like it please leave your comments below we'd love to know what you think of these Royal Alloy scooters or obviously if you think something of a better brand is better we'd love to know obviously uh, your comments positive or negative what you'd like me to include on further ride videos and until the next time, from RB, have yourself a great weekend, be well, ride safe, and until then guys, it's a big goodbye from me on this Royal Alloy.